This picks up where I left off on a video I posted a while back explaining not to build a house in a van. The bed platform area is built, so I'm going to buy an eight inch foam mattress to cut up into cushions. I want it to be like a deep couch, but then also a bed. And I'm gonna build storage areas. Since I already have a sink and the shower, storage in a bed is all that's left. This bed that I'm sleeping on is my actual bed that I was using in the house for the last few years. So many things to do make an insulated skylight cover. Since my mammoth trips, the van is home. A shower bag, got some water in there. Each side has a piece of half inch plywood bolted to the side with half inch bolts. How do I create the sectional couch that I wanted? Now that I've rounded off the corners, this piece of studio plywood should do the job. Definitely a good chunk. A couple more hinges here to put on there. Got it up there. How everything else is gonna go. Like how this is gonna stay up like this. Not quite sure yet. Late night routing. Made the special to fit into this area right here. It looks nice and clean. This panel in. Not going down all the way. It's higher in that little corner. Get this whole setup done to get my cushions made full bed. It's gonna come all the way out to here. I'm having to file down where the screws came through. I'm doing it by hand. I don't want anybody to get cut or myself. Oh. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> hey. Still working on it. I oh was... yeah. Oh my gosh, you've even got a big screen TV. Yeah, it's an old one. It's hard to find screws that don't come all the way through. That also have real good uh, holding. I keep going back and forth on whether I like the dark. If I could get a bunch of it to where most of it is like this, I would love that. I did these channels with this router table. I felt like this edge right here should be routed. I could do more detail. Router bits that my dad bought. The more detail you put into wood, it gets dirty in the little cracks and crevices. Tighten these screws. I didn't even glue, I just put pocket screws and it held real tight. How it's gonna look. Get a cushion on there. Thursday today, and there's still water. I left the mountain on Monday when I took that shower in the afternoon. I'm hanging it open. I want to make a table. See in the garage. I don't have enough room for this whole piece of ply. Once I got to this point in the build, I was overwhelmed because I didn't know what I was going to do. I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know exactly how to create it. Since I had some plywood, I started building things one at a time. Along with the sectional couch, I wanted a few slide out drawers. At first I was thinking without drawer slides, but I did end up getting some drawer slides, which I love. If I don't make it too permanent, I can turn them hitting around to make it better. Twist, it binds the blade. Oh. I've always had a dresser to put stuff in, so I decided to make myself a dresser. I can still access my stuff if there's drawers. I'll build it the perfect size to fit under my sectional cap. With my new pocket hole tool, I can build anything. And with this half inch plywood, I know it's going to be light. I just dropped this thing. Now it's all flimsy here. I really want to get this front piece on for support. These are going to be my shelves. Big one and a little one. I'm going to end up cutting out most of this. Right, now I got to finish the cuts. If I do the drawers like you were saying, then I don't need a bottom. Well, the drawers have to sit on something. I like it. A little bit bigger than I need it. Then I get that perfect cut with the table saw. It's still just a little bit too big. The factory edge is always gonna be your straightest edge. You use that as your guide. Tough, hard to make decisions. I found this really cool board. I use it as my baseboard down there. Doesn't that look good? I think it looks so good. I can pull this out to about here to hold the bed up. I'm gonna put a shelf underneath this table. Strengthen this so the legs are strong. California King, sink in your bed. The table, I gotta cut them down. This is dangerous, cutting the small piece against the glide. Finish cutting this out with the jigsaw. I hope this is strong enough. They're gonna stick out that much. Figure out a way to get this to be flush, like that. Things end up being so much harder than I planned for. <laughs> this is actually a cut for the router table. Perfect. This 
joint is. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Stay over here. Kind of moves as you tighten them. What happened? This is the one where I'm putting in the glue. You really don't need much. Technically, you don't need any glue because these pocket screws can hold it together. Pretty good. I can't get in there to secure these poles into place. There she is. Now I need to see if she even fits into the holes down there. It's pretty good, huh? It does. Yep. It looks like it holds this pretty strong now. Okay. Nice and secure. This is not a measly two feet between counter countertops like a lot of vans. 28 inches here. I could spread this open even more. There's a space right here behind the countertop. I'm borrowing as garage all his tools, like I love them. Don't get me wrong. So frustrating, waiting to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. I need to put it like this. He's like, oh, you have that wrong. As I'm fixing it. This bag of screws. It's the hardware for the uh, drawer sides. I spent the last half hour looking for this bag with the other drawer side because he has little bags of screws all over the place. This bag of screws sitting right in there. He moves it over there. Looking for for a half hour. It's going to be recessed. All my pieces are cut. To try out different configurations, I've created a dresser and a table that converts into a desk so that I can see what I like in there. Beautiful. I messed up though. Put a rabbit in with the table saw, but now that this is all glued together, I can't do that. It's easier than doing the rabbit. This is a much stronger bottom. Make less noise too. Now let's see if we can get this mounted. Uh-oh. It does look pretty level right here. Here we go. Yeah, it's binding on the bottom. It needs to go up. I'm trying to figure this out. So close. It doesn't soft close. But it works. A shim right in there. A shim in here. It seems to be working. This one, I needed to straighten it out. These were not very expensive. They were 15 bucks each. In the store, it was moving. It was a little more free flowing. It's the next day. I got to work straight away. I wasn't going to use glides. They just barely don't fit. I'm using the trusty router. Got out these grooves. I'm burning the wood. I could have done a much better job. All crooked and messed up. This would have just cut the perfect little hole. Live and learn. Now they fit. Barely stick out a little bit. Got all my glides in. I was just relaxing right now. Got to pull it so hard that it wants to fall over. Probably not going to open when I'm driving. I got everything cut out. Bottom piece is a little too big. Done. It's kind of a tight squeeze. And it's working. At this point, I conclude that I need a piece of furniture that does three things. A chair, a place to push your feet while sitting at the couch, and more storage. In this trunk, I could put anything I want and it's removable. Having places to put things was one of the most exciting parts of the build. And I think the woodworking was the most enjoyable. Most of what I need is in the van already without adding much weight. Looking at my scrap wood inspired me to make a silencer for my Propext heater duct because I want my fans to be as quiet as possible. Ultimately, I scrapped this idea, but it did work. It was quieter. This baffle forced the fan noise to travel further. The Propex heater is coming through the wall, which is going to need some supports so it's strong enough to support somebody sitting in the couch. I used to think black stain was so cool until I realized it gets on everything for a long time. Overwhelming it can feel building a van, especially in these early stages. They just do one thing at a time. And sometimes if something gets boring, I'll jump onto another. Getting an early jump on spring cleaning. I moved this. I'm gonna do a face mask too. It's kind of stupid to do this without shaving. It might take a while for this thing to expand before I can cut it. To cut foam, it really helps to have this kind of blade. An electric knife for breads, meats, cheeses, and foam. Glide right through and I can get nice and precise cuts. I'm 
take over the room. The cover is on it. Did you find the uh, knife? Yeah, right there. Oh, are you cutting it in here? Yeah, it's so cold outside. You'll sweep up and clean the floor, right? Since it's only 50 degrees, but it sure feels cold. Will you put this paper over there on the desk thing? Shouldn't cut it, but it needs to lay flat. You got a bubble there, you may not get it right. Maybe you need to lay some stuff on it and you not cut it till it's totally flat. Now we have one of these if we need it. That says Dad's truck. Bye, box. Allow 48 hours for full recovery. I want to cut it now, though. Maybe it'll be easier to cut it if I don't wait till full recovery. And I got it. And it's nine inches. Wow, it's not actually nine inches. Three inches shorter than that. Why would they say it's nine inches? Did you lay on it? Was it comfortable? You want to put this thing out here in the hall? How long does it take? A couple hours? Oh, it's so big. Oh. What are you looking at? It's going to expand another inch and a half. Wow, even the foam's got a cover on it. A few hundred bucks, it's a lot of money. I have these feelings like, oh, I should have done this differently. And then when it's all said and done, I'm really happy. A lot of fabric. Dave, do you have more room in the room? I gotta get this cover off. If I have a problem with the layers coming apart, I'm gonna use what they use to assemble this mattress, which is spray glue. I can get through here. Water heater's in the way, but it just doesn't look good right there. It's a really cool beach. I used so much water. But it wasn't rinsing. Ah, oh, the dolphins. I want to do two white comforters like this. One on the bottom under me and one up above me. I am so excited. I got to figure out how to get this desk further here. Lots more floor space. Real expensive saw. Two major mess ups. You can see the burn on there. That Here's the new countertop. I mean, no, that's the new cutting board. Here's the new countertop. So many more configurations now. It was triple digits all day, so I just haven't been recording. I installed this. This can come in and out. Now this. Cut this hole. Just drill it out. And now I can set this where I wanted to. And that's why I don't try to be too precise on things in the beginning. The ledge ended up being useful. Not only is it a little table. It's also a table mount. Slide it out real quick. Oh, you guys were vaccinated. Where's Vin? What? How's it going? Too bad. Gotta get the cushions made. The one inch blinds. It's in here. Where you drive. Cool, see, man. Privacy, security, Absolutely. stealth. It looks like construction truck, yeah, no, vest. Oh, yeah. First How was your trip to Mammoth? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. 27 degrees. 27? So cool. Man. Things are frozen. It's a freezer or a fridge. Oh, I see. I see. Then HDMI. You get the full, full screen. It mirrors my screen. I like this. And this is 12 volts, so the inverter doesn't need to be on. Straight from the battery. If I do fill it with it at a slant like this on the side of the road, all the water does just run out the side. 